So my first question is why uh, do we need new treatments uh, for vasculitis? And the reason is that we still have adverse outcomes in terms of patient survival and quality of life with the drugs that we're using at the moment. High doses of steroids and immune suppressives that compromise patients' immunity, causing infections and other side effects. So it's quite easy uh, to articulate the need uh, for newer therapies. The next question is, what is going on now in terms of developing new therapies for vasculitis? Well, one of the major advances has been the identification of the alternative complement system as being a key player in injury in ankyovasculitis and the development of new complement inhibitors such as avacapan, which can specifically inhibit this pathway. This drug has gone through successful phase two and phase three programs and is now licensed in Europe and will very soon be available to doctors in Europe to treat patients. So what are the, going to be the advantages of avacapan? Well, it's going to be the first time that patients can be treated without use of steroids, sparing them from the whole range of steroid-related complications. But in addition, avacapan seems to enhance recovery of kidney function in the many vasculitis patients who present with severe kidney injury. An unexplained result from the avacapan program was the positive effect on quality of life. Patients given avacapan felt stronger, felt able to do more, and felt more restored to their state of health before they became sick. We really do not understand why this improved quality of life is occurring, but it's stimulating quite a bit of research in this area. The final question is what should we be looking at in terms of new treatments in the future? And there are really two areas I think to focus on. One is treatments that can be given almost before the disease has started, because we often identify patients on the basis of blood tests who are at the very early stages of disease or who indeed are before disease has emerged. Can we develop a safe therapy that will stop them developing severe inflammatory disease? And then the other aspect of potential new drug development is how can we prevent patients relapsing and requiring repeated cycles of therapy and then relapsing again and further cycles of therapy. And particularly, we see this with our current use of uh, rituximab in ankyovasculitis. And I think the immune cell that we should be looking at is the T cell. We think the T cell is the driver of this chronic relapsing disease. And there are now drugs in early phases of development that will modulate a T cell function that may well prove to be safe alternatives to keep patients well once they're through the initial acute presentation of the disease. So in summary, things are changing quite fast. This is an exciting time. And especially from the point of view of our patients, they can look forward to better options and better outcomes in the future.